Yeah, pretty much every day, 15 houses, I would say. I like to say around 40 bucks a cut. I'm working probably 60, 70 hours a week, right around nine grand for my first investment. Hi, my name is Gabe Johnson. I'm the proud owner of Three Sons Lawn Care. I've always loved lawn care since I was a little kid. Me and my dad would always ride around in our neighborhood and cut lawns and just have fun. And I've always fell in love with mowing lawns since then. Take great pride in doing lawn care for making people happy with their lawns and doing other stuff like that. When did you get started with the business? Well, my first, I just started last year with my first full year as, as my own lawn care business, but I've been doing lawn care for seven or eight years now, so. When you very first started, did you have to invest in it or did you get like, Hand me down equipment. No, I didn't, I had to work my I had to work my tail off to save money up. I worked for a different company, lawn care company, but I saved all my money up from them, and then I bought a new mower this this year. Bought a brand new mower, gravely. So that was that was my first big investment, and that's my only investment so far. But I'm hoping to get my truck for next year. But we're working on things, just trying to get more and more clients, being just having, having happy clients. Can you say how much the lawnmower cost? Yes, the lawnmower was uh, right around nine grand for my first investment, so. What were you using beforehand? Well, actually, so I did get a little, sorry, but I got a little handy down from my buddy's dad. I, I cut his lawn for free, but I got to use his lawnmower for my other clients. So that was last year, I was using a little sit down 52 inch uh, X mark. So that, that he, he was the first one to really get me going, but I bought my own money with, or bought my own mower with the money I earned last year, so. And what made you transition from having, like working for a company and then thinking like, oh, I can do this on my own and then going out into that? When you're working for a different company, I just like to be my own, I don't like to be my own boss and make my own hours and just, for me, it's just making, my biggest thing is making my clients happy and just, I just love seeing my clients just smile and happy with all my work, but that's my, I've always loved it doing lawn care with a different company, but it's just, I just wanted to do, go on my own and try to figure out the struggles of being on my own and doing stuff like that. It's just, I just, I just love landscaping. It's just awesome. What are some of the expenses that come with landscaping and lawn mowing? The expenses would be, the gas is probably the main thing now, just because the gas is pretty expensive now, definitely for mowing, but with landscaping, like if you're doing like bark beds and stuff, bark is expensive, uh, rocks expensive, like weed whip string, edger blades, mower blades. I think that's about it for my small business right now. But yeah, gas and gas is the main main expenses for me right now. So how many gallons do you think you go through? A week, I'll probably go. I probably I don't know how many gallons, but I probably spend at least two hundred dollars almost every week and a half, I guess, I would say, for my just my mower and my truck, so. How far do you travel to, like, for your clients? I like to stay around the Grand Rapids area, but I, I lived in Caledonia, or live in Caledonia, but I like, the farthest I go is probably a little south of Grand Rapids, like downtown Grand Rapids. I don't like going down into the city, but it's, I'll go down there, but from Grand Rapids to Caledonia, Kentwood, Pine Center, all that, it's, that's my main area. I feel like driving radius isn't huge. For mowing wise, you don't wanna, you don't wanna drive as far just because you're, you're using so much gas. And, but yeah, for landscaping jobs, I'll drive farther because those are just, it's one big job, but I would like to keep, for, for mowing, I like to keep it nice and uh, tense routes, just so I don't have to drive as far. Are you doing a lot of suburbs? Yeah, I'm, I, yeah, I like to, I like to, when I get one client in like a neighborhood, like, like I'm in the neighborhood with you guys right now, I like to, I like to knock on doors and put out like my, uh, yeah, cards and stuff, business cards and door hangers. So I'll just go around every time I see a lawn and that I mow and she likes it and there's another neighbor that hasn't been mowed and it's long, I'll go out knock on her door and say, hey, my name is Gabe and we go from there and like I, for instance, have one in Kentwood. I just got one this year, it's a brand new, brand new client for me. And then now I have 10 in there. Within, within a month, I got 10 clients because I knocked on the door and I take care of the lawns and I try my best and yeah, trying to make people happy. Do you do any other forms of advertising? I do on uh, Facebook, so I have Facebook. And then I'm trying to work on Google right now, like to Google, uh, Google so people can search me, but it's kind of being a little pain right now, but we're getting to it. So Facebook is my main one. And I have an Instagram too, for Three Sons Lawn Care would be, if you guys looked that up and it should be on Facebook and everything, so. Are you spending money on advertising apart from like business cards or is it just like very, very like word of mouth? Yeah, word of mouth is the big, it's the biggest thing, but I'm trying to figure out on Facebook they have like this, they can like boost the post on it, but it, like it never, and it's like I would have the area, Grand Rapids or whatever, but then I get people from like Louisiana and like Texas and everything. So I'm trying to, it's weird, it won't let me just, like it says it does, like it says it, I'm in the Grand Rapids area, but it 
always have people, I have more people from out of state than I do actually in the state. So yeah. word of mouth is probably the biggest thing. How big are the yards? Does that make it difficult? Like what, what are some challenges? For like little houses like in this neighborhood that are just small, it's like just rock beds and like bark beds that I, I just don't want to spray grass into and it's just such a tight area. But for like big lawns, that's that's why I love doing big lawns because there's no, there's unless there's trees, but the trees are another thing I don't like going around. But like, yeah, I like to, I like to stay lawns that are just square and simple and but if I, I mow any lawns though and just I love mowing so and when you started out did you start by yourself or did you have an employee or did you have family yeah so it's uh, my dad also he had back in the day he had uh, he started his own lawn care and he called it three sons and he couldn't get it going but because he had uh, he had health issues but anyways yeah my dad really made me want to get into it more because he started it and he just couldn't get it going and now we're yeah it's just me and my dad right now so me and my dad and i have every other friday i'll have my buddy help me or my brothers sometimes my brothers come and help us too but it's usually just me and my dad how did you come up with the pricing structure so i i, I like to mow it first to be honest with you just to see how long it takes like if i can mow a lawn in like 30 minutes or an hour or whatever then that's just how i i take a lot of like weed whipping is another big thing if there's a lot of weed whipping a lot of poles or a lot of just beds that go around and a lot of other stuff that go around. I charge a lot more, a lot more for that because mowing is a lot easier than weed whipping and edging. So I think that's really comes down to is weed whipping is the biggest, biggest thing for me. So are you charging like per time? I, I want to charge per time, but I'm still trying to figure that out. So I just charge like per month for everybody for four cuts. So every four cuts, I'll just have them send me a check or have them send it for QuickBooks or whatever. So. And what is your like price range for from like the smallest lawn to like the largest? So I like to keep everybody under like or everybody at like 40 bucks a cut, but I'm still slowly getting up there because everybody doesn't want to pay 40 bucks a cut. So if I say 40 bucks a cut, 40 times four is, like 130 a month is probably like the cheapest I go. But I like to, yeah, I like to stay around 40 bucks a cut. That just seems like my best, where I can actually make revenue for my company. And are you, is that like standard or? That's actually, if you look for, for a small company that might be standard, I'm not sure, but for like a company I used to work for, they charge a lot more than that. Is that like what you're averaging? Yeah, all my houses are all different, like okay. all different price. But if I'm in like a neighborhood, I like to just have everybody's same price because I'm in the neighborhood and I don't have to use any of my truck gas or anything. So I like to keep it in the, everybody in the same range if, if they're all right, to, for all the houses are right together. What price point do you think is too low to start at and what price point is too high? For an average neighborhood, I wouldn't, too low would be like $15 a cut and then too high would be like $70 a cut if you're first starting. If you're charging $70 first cut and that's just ridiculous, but some people do. But I would say the average is like from 25 to 45, I would say, for starting off. But once you get more experience and you get more experience in quoting, quoting people, and then you feel more confident about yourself and your work that you do, you can charge more because you know you're doing a lot better job than say the guy that cuts a lawn and leaves all the grass all over the lawn. So. What does your typical day to day look like? I wake up at like 7.30 and drink my coffee and just get all my mowers ready. I sharpen my blades every two, yeah, two times a week. I sharpen my blades so the grass doesn't die. And I usually get on my first lawns by like 8.30, 9 o'clock. So that's, yeah, just mow, mow. I mow probably 15 houses every, yeah, pretty much every day, 15 houses, I would say. And then what time are you done? Yeah? It really just depends, but if it's the grass is long, but right now it's long. So usually I'm done by six. I like to be done by six just because I want to be just courteous to all the people getting home from work and not hearing a bunch of noise when they want to hang low. Do you ever work on the weekends? Yes. I Work, I don't like working on Sundays, but Saturdays, I work every, pretty much every Saturday. That's when I start, on Saturdays, I do my landscaping jobs. So like mowing, I mow Monday through Friday, and then I do landscaping, try to do landscaping jobs every Saturday, but sometimes I don't get those. That's what I'm trying to get more of is landscaping jobs. Like percentage wise, how much are you doing like landscaping versus? Landscaping, I probably do maybe two jobs a month, two or three jobs a month, mowing, yeah, I mow a lot. Mowing is my main thing just because it's a lot easier to get. Everybody wants mowing. Mowing's a day or a weekly thing. Landscaping isn't really, it's whenever yeah, whenever they need. Would you say that your percentage of like revenue from landscaping is much higher than mowing? Or? I would say so unless I quote it, if I quote it wrong and I make a big mistake and it takes me, say I post something for only like $500 and it takes me two days and then that's, I'm not going to make that, make that money because I'm working 24 hours on one job and then I'm, I quoted her for 
way less than I should have made. Do you have any commercial properties? I have most residential, but I also do. So my brother, he works at a like a he's a special needs teacher, and his boss. So I mow her like a little business off of uh, East Paris by Broadmoor and or East Paris 28th Street or whatever. So mow that one, and then I mow a church too. So just two commercial ones. Do you charge more? Yes, I do, because that's just there's so much more pain. Like if you're on 28th Street and get cars, you're trying to edge, and it's just like kind of kind of deadly to be honest with you <laughs> you can get hit by a car what are some of your plans on like expanding or growing if you want to well i really want to get up to my my first goal this year i'm trying to take it slow just because i don't want to make any mistakes just want to learn my customers as it goes and learn all the pains and grows and everything about it and but i want to get to like i'm at like 45 right now 45 clients right now so i want to get to by like 80 by the end of the year it'd be great but we're gonna I'm really pushing it but my biggest goal is just to make people happy is just that's that's my i don't want to be have 130 130 clients 140 clients and they're all mad they're not all mad but i got like 10 mad i want to make my biggest yeah my biggest thing is making my customers happy so i'd like to be a small company where i can still make my own living and live on my own and all that if you do that would you hire someone to help you permanently yeah my goal is to hire my buddy back there that's my biggest goal but he's He's working on his own things too, but we're, I'm gonna try, I need, I'm definitely gonna need to hire somebody here soon. I'm working probably 60, 70 hours a week, so that's a decent amount, but yeah, definitely within the within the year, I wanna hire somebody. Do you have any interesting stories that you wanna share? It's kind of a bad thing, but it's kind of a it's kind of a funny thing. I was out, out in Green Lake with my buddy, not not this one, but um, a different buddy, and he hit, he like, he hit a rock and then he, literally went flying into the into the lake so it was and I, I even have a video of it so i kind of he, he thinks he's better more than me so i kind of just every time every time he gets a little cocky about his stripes and his lines and people's lawns i kind of just show him that video and like hey i've never been into a lake so i guess that's that's kind of funny he went flying into a lake so it's kind of funny so do you do stripes because you're double crossing like lines like that you might have missed or do you do it for just aesthetics i mean it looks good for other customers but like if you double cut and go in different ways it makes the grass just cut way more evenly and then having like different like say if you single cut something you're gonna have just it's not gonna look very good but if you double cut going you know, different ways or even time, sometimes triple cut like your guys lawn's always really long so we take our time on it and yeah i would say a lot of people like the stripes but it's also just makes the grass even more healthier and cuts it cuts it nice and flat and even what kind of landscaping projects have you done my biggest one i, I did one indoor a couple like last year we moved a whole cut down a couple big trees just removed plants and then planted grass and, and we just made just made it look a lot better than it was so they had a bunch of stuff in there a lot of plants and a lot of flowers so we took all those down and just make it more basic and then put rocks down and just made it look better because it was just a bunch of flowers and just looked just too much so we just we just redesigned it pretty much and just put grass down and rocks and then we planted another big tree so that was that was that was a pain but it was it was always fun have you ever had mower breakdowns where you had to go to your push mower and do the whole lawn yeah i, I used to push mowers but when i first started i had a push mower my first my first first house down there was maui and that's what my dad used to. I never push mowed it. My, I hate push mowing. My dad push mowed it, so I can't lie. But yeah, we used, that's what we started with was a push mower, and then we got too many lawns that were too big. And push mowing is just something I don't like doing. But something like little small, little small ones, I would definitely do. But big yards. So it's not so much fun with the with a little push mower. What equipment would you like have to have? For mowing grass, you really need to have a weed whip, an edger, any kind of mower that mows. You can have a sit down, you can have anything. Really, to first get started, like I said, I started with a push mower, and that's probably the biggest thing. Is you gotta have a mower, edger, and a weed whip, and a and a backpack blower to blow off. And, and a trailer, you want a trailer, but if you're living in a neighborhood, you can also just tow it behind your mower if you have a like a sit-on mower. But if you're just a neighborhood, you can just push everything around in the little cart. How do you recommend they get into it? What do you recommend they like need to do before they do it? Before they do it, you gotta make sure you have like a like a backpack or a little backpack to spray off the grass from everybody everybody's uh, driveways and stuff but to get to get clients I would just just really it's about word of mouth if you really just say if you're if you're 16 years old and you don't have or you're 15 years old and you can't drive yet you're, if you're in a, living in a neighborhood the biggest thing is I would just cut your like you say you cut your neighbor's yard and you just I would just keep passing out cards to the neighbors and neighbors and then once you get 16 you get, you get to be able to drive and then you can span out to different neighborhoods but the biggest thing is I would think if you're younger than 16 i would just stay in your neighborhood and just keep mowing your neighbor's yards and everybody will everybody will see how good of work you do and i think that's that's the biggest thing is just the word of mouth is getting out there and showing up on time i think that's 
I think that's the biggest thing is when someone wants their long cut, you have to be there. To do it all day for the full day, would you do the lawn mowing or would you do the weed whacking? Weed whacking, because I'm I'm a I'm a big I'm, I like exercise, so I just I like to move around and just lose weight. I mean, it's just it's just something you're sweating when mowing. You do sweat when you're mowing, but you just feel lazy. You're just sitting there, and then you, you have people around you. You're just sitting on the mower, and then you have people hustling and running, and doing with the weed whip and edging and blowing off. But yeah, I'd rather I just like working hard, so I'd rather weed whip. But what are three tips of advice that you have for other entrepreneurs? Just stay calm. Just just work work the process and just make sure your customers are happy and just be happy with your work you just love what you do you can't just go into something that you don't love to do if you go into something you don't love to do and you're starting a business and you invest a lot of money into it and you don't even like to do it it's not really worth your time so i would just say the biggest thing you really want to love what you do why would someone choose your business I choose three sons lawn care you just have you're in you're in great care with my family and my buddies we we just we take great pride in our work and we're that we show up on time and we'll be there and we do our greatest greatest work we'll spend time and make sure every everything is blown off every square inch of the lawn looking looking fine and looking good take great great pride in my work and i just love making people happy i think that's my biggest my biggest thing is making my customers happy